the star of this film is not an actor or an actress, but a writer. And those of us who helped to make it take pleasure in paying tribute to him. William Somerset Maugham, born in Paris in 1874, is the author of 24 novels, 24 plays, and upwards of 100 short stories. This is what he says about his life and work. In one way or another, I've used in my writings pretty well everything that has happened to me in the course of my life. Sometimes an experience of my own has provided me with an idea and I've just had to invent the incidents to illustrate it. But more often, I've taken uh, people whom I've known either slightly or intimately and used them as a foundation for uh, characters of my own invention. But to tell you the truth, fact and fiction are so intermingled in my work uh, that now, looking back, I can hardly distinguish one from the other. In my twenties, the critics said I was brutal. In my thirties, they said I was flippant. In my forties, they said I was cynical. In my fifties, they said I was competent. And then in my sixties, they said I was superficial. I went my own way with a shrug of the shoulders, uh, following the path I had traced and trying with my work to fill out the pattern of life that I had made for myself. Quartet is a collection of four of Somerset Maugham's favorite stories. The first you will see is The Facts of Life. It was Henry Garnett's habit to drop in at his club after dinner to play bridge. He was a pleasant man to play with. He knew the game well, and you could be sure he would make the best of his cards. Come on, Henry. Yes? It's you to play. What? Me? Oh, sorry. Right, the rest of mine, I hmm. think. That makes it game and rubber. Why on earth didn't you play your trump? I beg your pardon? They'd have been two down if you trumped it. I hadn't got one. Of course you had. There you are. Eight of hearts. You suggesting I'm not speaking the truth? Oh, my dear chap. Oh. Well, let's cut the ink, shall we, and play another rubber. You can leave me out if you don't mind. I'm not in the mood. I'm sorry, Leslie. Well, that's all right, old man. What's the trouble? As a matter of fact, I'm in a devil of a temper. Oh, what about? I've had the most upsetting day. Business? No, not exactly. If you don't mind, I'd rather like to tell you, only don't let it go any further. No, of course not. I should hate it to get around the club. Much better get it off your chest. Well, it's about my boy, Nicky. Same again, Walters. As he did very well in that tournament. Yes. It was tennis that started the whole trouble. My wife and I were down at Wilmington last month and found ourselves sitting next to old Branksome. I don't know if you know him, but he's the sort of pool bar of tennis up at Cambridge. So naturally, I asked him how my boy was getting on. How's Nicky's game coming along? Not too badly. Any chance of him being chosen for the varsity team? Perhaps. Needs a bit more experience, you know. Yes. Good shot. Why don't you let him come down to Monte Carlo to play in the tournament? Well, hasn't the British team been chosen? Yes, it has. But the man we were relying on has let us down, and Nicky had just about filled the bill. Well, what do you say? Well, I'd rather he didn't, if you don't mind. In the first place, he's not good enough yet. In the second, I don't like the idea of a young boy of 19 traipsing around Monte Carlo with nobody to look after him. Well, why should be there? I'm going as a non-playing captain. Okay. You'll be too busy to bother about Nicky. Well, just as you say, go no well played, sir. Game for the match. I shan't stay for doubles, you know. If you change your mind, give me a ring. We shan't decide anything for next Wednesday's meeting. Goodbye, Mrs. Garnett. Goodbye. Goodbye. Fancy thinking Nicky good enough for Monte Carlo. Yes, he's, he's coming along well. Why not let him go, Henry? Oh, no, no. No, certainly not. No, he's, he's too young. Nicky's not the sort to get into any mischief. No, it's not just that, but there's his work to consider. It's a bad thing to cut the end of term. Well, he'd only miss three days. Do let him. No, no, certainly not. I've made up my mind. 
You know, it's awful decent of you to let me go, Dad. Well, your mother was rather against it, but <laughs> I managed to talk her into it. Oh, thanks, Dad. You're a sport. Now, you will behave yourself when you're away. Of course I will. Well, I don't want to play the heavy father, but this is the first time you've been abroad on your own, and I wouldn't like you to get in a mess. Well, don't worry, I won't. No, that's right. Now, look, Nicky, when I was your age, my father gave me three bits of advice, and I've lived up to them ever since, and I hope you will. The first is gambling. Don't gamble, whatever anybody else may do. The second is money. Don't lend money, not in any circumstances. And the third is women. Don't have anything to do with women. Now then, if you lay off those three things, you won't go far wrong. So be a good boy and try and remember. All right, Dad, I won't forget, I promise. That's right. Well, give them a run for their money. Well, I'll try. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, boy. The boy didn't disgrace himself in the tournament. He did very well, according to the papers. Yes, of course, he didn't beat the top class men. But he got in the semi-final the doubles. He ran the Australian number two to three sets. Oh, no, I am not bad at all. I couldn't wish for him to do better. It was after the tournament that the trouble began. There was an official dinner for the players, and after that they all went to the sporting club. Hello. Hmm? Oh, hello. Et je s'en fais. Trente et un. Trente et un, bien, madame. Rien ne va plus. Va, noir père et passe. What, Nicky? Doing any good? Oh, I, I haven't been playing. Well, you ought to have one little flutter before you go. Yes, I suppose so. <laughs> my father wasn't any too keen on my coming here at all. He particularly warned me against gambling. No, it's not gambling if you know when to stop. I had to go with a thousand francs and lost, and that's that. You're crazy if you leave Monty without trying your luck once. Surely your father wouldn't mind you losing a thousand francs. It's only just over a quid. Was your stop, eh? No, I, I don't suppose he would. After all, I didn't promise him not to gamble. I only promised not to give his advice. <laughs> try number 11. I didn't lose. Maybe it'll win uh, No, no, I'll try 19. Numero 36, rouge, fair et passe. Excuse me. Sorry. Les jeux sont faits. Rien ne va plus. Numéro 19, rouge, impair, et passe. It's yours, Nicky. Look at all the chips you've won. Deux jours sans fait. Your luck's in, old boy. Have another go. No, thanks. I'm not going to tempt Providence a second time. Numéro 19. You've won rouge, again, young man. No, I haven't. I'm winning on. Yes, you have. Your original stake. They always leave it on unless you ask for it back. Didn't you know that? No. How much is it? Another 35,000 francs. I see. You've got enough to buy a motorbike. <laughs> and your stake. Oh, yes, of course. You are in luck. Yes, I can hardly believe it. It's the first time I've ever played. Oh, oh that explains it. Would you like to lend me a 10,000 francs? I will bring it back to you in ah, half an hour. Oh, all right. Thank you so much. Well, you'll never see that again. No, I don't suppose I shall. How silly of me. My father particularly warned me not to lend anybody any money. However, I've still got 60,000 francs left, and that's 60,000 more than I expected. <laughs> Beginner's luck, old boy. Well, I'm for bed. Coming? Uh, no, I, I think I'll just take a walk around. I'll be along in a few minutes. OK. Vos jeux sont faits. Rien ne va plus. Va, loi pair et passe. 95. 100,000 francs, monsieur. Hello. I have been looking for you everywhere. Oh, hello. I was afraid you had gone. Here's the 10,000 francs, and thank you very much for lending it to me. What's the matter? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. To tell you the truth, I, I didn't expect to see this money again. Oh, what did you take me for? Did you think I was a cheat? No, no, of course not. Do I look like someone who would cheat you of your money? Oh, no, not a bit. My husband is in the administration in Morocco. 
And I have come to Monte Carlo for a few weeks because he thought I needed a change. Well, it was awfully good of you to come chasing after me like that, but you shouldn't have bothered, really. I was just going. Already? Yes, I've got to catch a plane for home at 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, yes, of course. The tournament ended today, didn't mm. it? I saw you play two or three times. Did you? Mm. Well, I, I don't know why you noticed me. You have a beautiful style. And you look so sweet in your shorts. <laughs> Thank you. Do you know La Petite Maison? No, I can't say that I do. Oh, but you mustn't leave Monte without going there. Why not come and dance a little? I'm so hungry. I should adore some bacon and eggs. Mm, then you shall have some bacon and eggs. <laughs> Alouette, 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 je te plumerai, je te plumerai les pieds, et les pieds, et le cou, et moustache, et le nez, et la tête, alouette, oh. Je te plumerai les mains. Je te plumerai les mains. Et les mains. Et, et les mains. Et les pieds. Et, et les le pieds. Et le cou. Et, et le cou. Et le moustache. Et le moustache. Et le nez. Et, et le nez. Et, 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 et le tête. Et le tête. Et le Oh, alouette. Gentil alouette. Alouette. Je te Would you like some champagne? Oh, I would adore champagne. Champagne. But you shouldn't, Nicky. You shouldn't waste your money on me. I'm like a millionaire tonight. How much did you win? Oh, quite a bit. Must have been thrilling seeing your number. Keep on winning. It wasn't the same number. 